Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is November 19, 2019. My name is David, and this is today's market wrap-up. For the first piece of news today, Alibaba Group Holding will stop collecting orders early for its roughly 13 billion Hong Kong stock due to the strong investor demand for its shares. According to people familiar with this matter, Ali last week kicked off one of the largest share sales globally this year. The company earlier said it expected to determine the price of the Hong Kong shares on or around November 20, based on the closing price of its New York listed American depository shares on Tuesday. Last week, banks underwriting the deal estimated it could be worth about 11.7 billion in total. That could increase to more than 13 billion if they exercise an option to buy more shares after trading begins. Alibaba's U.S. shares closed slightly lower at $184 a piece on the New York Stock Exchange on Monday, giving the company a market capitalization of about 482 billion. Each ADS effectively represents eight of Alibaba's Hong Kong shares. The latter could be priced at a slight discount to the U.S. shares, as is the market convention for follow-on stock offerings. Next up is Disney. Two cable channels that have long dominated the holiday movie genre are facing new competition from Netflix, Disney Plus, and Apple, which are all aiming to carve out space in a once sleepy corner of the movie business. Disney's Disney Plus, which launched November 12, and offers subscribers animated classics alongside Marvel and Star Wars movies, hopes to entice new subscribers with its own holiday offerings. The service has more than 20 Christmas movies, from classics such as Miracle on 34th Street to a new title exclusive to the service. A film starring Anna Kendrick that the studio heavily promoted ahead of Disney Plus launch. Apple last month outbid rival Hollywood studios for the chance to make a big budget musical version of A Christmas Carol, starring Ryan and Pharrell. According to people familiar with the matter, a few weeks later, Disney also made a deal to produce a musical adaption of the classic Christmas tale, a different person said. As for our final piece of news, T-Mobile CEO John Begay will step down this spring, handing the top job to operating chief Mike Sivat in a carefully planned handover. Mr. Sivat, 50 years old, will become chief executive on May 1st, taking over after Mr. Legay's current employment contract expires. T-Mobile faces a challenges before then, including an antitrust lawsuit brought by a coalition of state at attorneys general against T-Mobile's planned 26 billion plus takeover of Sprint Corporation. A trial is scheduled to start December 9th in New York. T-Mobile's proposed takeover of Sprint has secured approval from federal telecommunications and antitrust officials, but it has been delayed by the state's antitrust suit. The company earlier this month promised a 15 a month data plan aimed at responding to criticism that its merger with Sprint would lessen competition. Now let's see what happened with the markets today. The North American market was generally stable, Nasdaq being up 0.35% and TSX going down by 0.04% respectively, while the S&P is flat. As for the European markets, saw positive movement. The FTSE and the DAX up by 0.12% and 0.92% respectively while the CAC is down by 0.51%. Moving on to Asian market, the Hansen index down by 0.55%, the Nikkei up by 0.7%, while S&P up by 0.7%. In terms of currencies, the Canadian dollar saw positive movement between US dollar, Euro, and Japanese yen. For the commodities, oil is down by 1.19% at 57.14. Copper post moderate loss, and gold is up 0.5%. 23%. That's all for today's market wrap-up.